I'm from uh, Frogtown in St. Paul, and I go to school in Atlanta, Georgia at Spelman College. And Morehouse College, Clark Atlanta University, and Spelman College were a part of this cohort of students in Atlanta that we've heard stories of professors who were students back then leaving class, going to a rally, going to a march, um, doing a sit-in somewhere, and then getting arrested, having their professors bail them out, and then go to lecture at five o'clock, right? So this was, everyone just seemed like they were down with the movement, right? And then now it seems like that same type of movement, that same type of um, like want and need for young voices to be heard is happening again when you see things like Black Lives Matter here in Minnesota. Um, and it's interesting because going to school in Atlanta, people think that things in Minnesota aren't as bad, right? Which in some degree it is, but there are still those barriers for young people, women, people of color. I would say that it's other people my age who don't yet see their full potential in their gifts or their personal passions. So one thing that I try through work that I do or just like organic relationships that occur is trying to like pull out that sense of meaning within them. So whatever it is that they're passionate about, trying to correlate that into why it all matters. I guess especially for young people, some of the barriers are more so just like why it matters and why they should care, why they should take their, their time to even not only become voters, but become informed voters. And I think one of the things that is very limited for younger generations is that people were at this weird stage where we're not quite adults yet, or even if we are 18, um, legally we're adults, but then people don't see us as having those same responsibilities, so they won't give us, so we won't have those same conversations about um, political awareness and social activism because we're seen as just kids or just young people. But one thing about young people looking historically and even around the world today is our generation are always the one that have been sparking like monumental change. Um, so I think it would be more of a society putting barriers against us mentally, thinking that we don't have that power to elicit change in the world as we see it. One thing that has been really cool seeing my generation do is take media outlets, especially social media like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and even Snapchat, and then just like documenting and changing the narrative, right? So it's not that we have to turn on Channel 5 and see a perspective of what someone else wants us to see of events happening around us that involve us, but it's people on the ground documenting what's happening in real life and then you're able to kind of extrapolate it yourself and see what truth you take from their story.